Falling. Light on set! Scene one, take three, action! Great job, kiddo. All right, so um, I'm here with my kids and we are going to do our best to try and help you get started with the interactive whiteboard. So thank you so much for purchasing Samsung's interactive whiteboard. And I want to tell you a couple of things that really make this tool distinct and powerful inside of your classroom. The first is that it's incredibly easy to use. You're probably used to getting hours and hours of professional development by other manufacturers. Um, with this board, we designed it specifically to meet the needs of teachers. And so you'll find that it is incredibly easy to get started. Um, it's so easy that we were actually able to put the entire tutorial directly on the panel itself. And I'm going to show you how to use that and find that here at the end of this video. So to get started, uh, I want to share a couple of things with you first. One is it is as simple as just turning the panel on. Kick this thing on by put, by pushing the uh, power button right here on the front tray. A simple tap of that button will get this thing started in about three seconds. Next, on the side of the panel, you're going to find this pen. Typically, you're going to see it right over here. See, it's magnetically attached to either side of the panel. There's usually two pens. Now, if you lost one and the other one grew legs and walked away as well, that's okay. You can replace this pen with anything of a similar size. We typically use chopsticks. So on one side, you've got a very small dowel. You can kind of see how the tip is a little smaller on this side versus this side, which is a little bit bigger. There you go. Now, the way the board reads this pen is all it's looking for is that thickness. And I'll show you how that works here. The pen is uh, just a dummy pen. Again, you can replace that with a, a pair of chopsticks or what I've seen in some classrooms is teachers will have a kind of like a little uh, fun pail or a bucket full of Q-tips and students will come in, they'll pick up a Q-tip, they'll write their answers on the board and then they'll throw the Q-tip in the trash. That works just fine, whatever's gonna work for you in your classroom. So let me show you this pen. So I mentioned that one side has a small tip and the other side has a, bit, a little bit broader tip. That small tip is read like a pen. So take a look at the board here and you can see it tracks my handwriting very, very quickly. On the other side, it's going to read this pen as if it was a highlighter. And so you're gonna see highlighters right over the top of pens. Now, if I don't like this color and I wanna change it, I don't have to go looking for another pen. All I have to do is simply tap and hold on the screen. And then a palette selection appears and you'll be able to select a different color from that palette. So right here, we're gonna choose, uh, let's, let's go with blue and I'll choose a, an even thinner, or no, let's go with the thicker, broader stroke here. And then on the highlighter side, we're gonna go with purple. Uh, actually, we're in purple. So let's go with yellow and a broad stroke. There we go. I'll hit the little X button to close that out, and then you can see my changes are immediately activated within this pen. Now, let's say I made a lot of mistakes and I don't want to um, lose all the rest of my work here. My finger is actually a fine eraser. Look at that or I can use my hand as a broad eraser. The nice thing is um, I can use my hand as an eraser and there's no residue left on my hands. Isn't that great? Um, so right now we've got this configuration set up as if it was a traditional analog whiteboard, grease board, um, pen board, uh, expo marker board, if that's, what you're, if that's the terminology that you're used to. Um, and you can kind of uh, delineate that by the fact that we've got a, a white background here. If I want to change that background, I can very simply go to the bottom here. You're going to see this UI pop up. I'm going to hit that up arrow and you're going to get some options here. I'm going to click on that hamburger button and then use the forms. And I can very quickly and easily change that background. Do I want a black background? Or maybe I want the old school traditional green background that reminds me of my, uh, my college days working with chalkboards. And of course, uh, it's just as fast, just as clean. Now you can change those backgrounds to um, grid paper. I've seen basketball courts. Uh, I've seen um, periodic tables. There's lots of different options back there. And again, that's just a quick way to get started with this panel. Now, 
I mentioned to you that at the beginning of this, I was going to show you the quick tutorial that is available on every one of these panels. And on future videos, we're going to show you how to actually connect to this device utilizing a number of different um, ecosystem or uh, electronics, if you will, uh, mobile devices, tablets, Chromebooks, all that kind of thing. Everything can get connected to this panel, but the very simple thing to do just to get started is turn the device on, pick up a pen and start writing. Uh, if you wanna add some more, um, right here, you're looking at a single board. Um, or I'm sorry, a single sheet on a roll. If you wanted more information on this page, you simply grab that little toggle right there and you can move it over and you'll see now I'm on page two. If I get lost and I want to find my way back, I can either move that toggle back or I can hit this little UI and you see this little button right here. I'll click on that and this is my navigator for all of the different roles that I have. So you can see that was the original page one, there's page two. I can add a page three. And if I wanted to move things around, I certainly could, or I can just find my way back to page one, and there we are. Okay, so I mentioned that I'm gonna show you um, where the tutorial is embedded into the display. It's right here, here we go. So we're gonna click on that uh, UI again. We're gonna hit that hamburger, and it's right there, we hit it. <laughs> we hit it deep. It's called how to use. And you can go through this role here and actually see the basic controls of the board and find your way through nice and easily. There we go. So hopefully that helps you get started. I'm gonna show you a couple more videos here in a moment. We're just gonna connect some devices using a technology called Smart View. And then we'll show you how to import and export from this, uh, from this panel. Really simple, really easy to use. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks again for being a great supporter of Samsung and a great partner of ours.